What's going on guys and welcome to Highly and Alf Gaming. I'm your host Alf and I have a very unique relationship with Super Mario 64. It was one of the first games I ever played and it was also the first game I ever actually beat. I have a ton of nostalgia for this game and I still casually speedrun its 16 star category on occasion. I've gotten all 120 stars in this game several times so I decided to make a video about my top 10 favorites. At least I was going to, but then something happened. I got all the stars again in the 3D All-Stars collection to get footage and I was brutally reminded of how stupid and unfun a few of the game's objectives are. I still love the game of course, but I have enough to say about the bad parts to split this video into two top fives, the top five best and worst stars in my opinion. And that's a really important point, my opinion. I've gotten some stars hundreds of times for my speedruns, and there are some other stars I've only collected on a few occasions. I have really weird and random opinions on some parts of the game, so these are just my personal lists of my favorite and least favorite stars. Without further ado, let's -a go! Starting with my fifth least favorite star in the game, we have Elevate for 8 Red Coins from Hazy Maze Cave. Okay, I forgot to mention that I'm not counting 100 coin stars for this list because they would just fill up the whole thing, but yeah! This, this star isn't good to me. I might have said this one was my absolute least favorite a few years ago because I hated all of Hazy Maze Cave as a kid. It was all weird, mazy, and cavey, and confusing, but now I'm a little more used to it. I still don't love it, but now the red coin star is the only one I actively dislike. The coins are all along these annoying moving platform paths in the air, and it's really frustrating to get them all. I do speedrun the game, but not this star, so I have to do it the lame normal way. It's super easy to fall down, and even if I don't fall down, it's really not fun to get. I just move slowly and wait on elevators for a few minutes until I get the star, which is stupid. It's not the worst by any means, but Elevate for 8 Red Coins is my 5th least favorite Mario 64 star. Transitioning to my 5th favorite star in the game, we have Eye to Eye in the Secret Room from Big Boo's Haunt. As a whole, I think Big Boo's Haunt is just an okay level, but this star is really fun to me. An earlier star has you wall kick up to this attic place, and Eye to Eye in the Secret Room builds on that concept by making you get up there with the Vanish Cap. The Vanish Cap lets you go through this boo wall, and it's on a timer to add some extra challenge. After that, you just kill a bigger version of one of the game's eyeball enemies to get the star. This star doesn't seem all that fun when I describe it, but I really enjoy getting it for some reason. I like that you go up to the semi-secret part of Big Boo's Haunt, I like the time limit forced by the Vanish Cap, it's just fun to me. I like a lot of stars in Mario 64, but right now, this one's my fifth favorite. Back over to the least favorite list, number four is Chests in the Current from Dire Dire Docks. I really don't like the water levels in Mario 64, and Chests in the Current definitely doesn't help in that regard. It's similar to the Jolly Roger Bay chest stars, only they're spread out on the ocean floor in Dire Dire Docks. If you know the order of the chests, it's a moderately slow, annoying process of swimming around to every chest. If you don't know the order, that just makes it even more tedious and less fun. Swimming isn't fun when you have to navigate and maneuver around tight spaces, which is exactly what this is. Chests in the current isn't the end of the world or anything, but I really don't like it. Switching gears once again, my fourth favorite star is Wall Kicks Will Work from Cool Cool Mountain. This is one of the stars that I actually do get for my 16 star speedruns and I really enjoy it. The pro gamer way to get it is to jump off the stage like a boss and land right on the platform, but the let's play strat is pretty cool too. You need to talk to the pink bob to open up a cannon, then shoot over to the platform and wall kick to the star. It's nothing crazy or anything, but wall kicks are satisfying and I really like that the star gets its own little secret area. Nathaniel Bandy may hate it, but wall kicks will work is my fourth favorite Mario 64 star. Back to my third least favorite star in the game, we have a tie between Manta Ray's Reward and Through the Jet Stream in Dire Dire Docks. You know it says something about Dire Dire Docks when three of the six stars made my top five least favorite list. The reason this spot is a tie is that both stars essentially use the same awful mechanic. These stars once again make use of swimming through tight areas, only now you have to precisely navigate these annoying bubble rings. You need to swim through five in a row to get each star, once trailing behind a Manta Ray and once swimming into bubbles that push you up. The Manta Ray is stupid because of how awkward the ring's hitboxes move around through his tight turns. The bubble column doesn't move, but it very annoyingly shoves you off to the side when you're trying to swim down into it. These stars are basically the same and they're both trash, which is why they're tied for my third least favorite. 
Now moving on to my third favorite star, it's Shoot to the Island in the Sky from bob -omb Battlefield. This is a very simple star, it really just acts as an introduction to the concept of using cannons, but I really love it. All you have to do is shoot up to this floating island and grab the star, but there's also naturally a fun speedrunning way to do it. The real reason I put this one on the list is for the floating island itself. I think it's super cool that there's just a landmass up in the sky, and it's also used for three stars. There's also a cannon and a wing cap up there, so four-year-old me would often spend minutes on end just shooting myself out of the cannon and flying around. Maybe the star itself isn't that special, but the island it sits upon is important enough to make it my third favorite star in the game. Switching to my second least favorite star, we have Snowman's Lost His Head from Cool Cool Mountain. This probably seems like a weird choice to most of you. After all, you just sort of lead the snowman's body to his head and grab the star. In theory, it's super easy, and maybe I'm just missing something, but the star doesn't, like, work. The mechanic at play here doesn't function properly. I've never had to get this star in a speedrun, but every time I get it for a playthrough, it takes me at least a few tries to get the body under the head. I'll stand where I feel like I should, and then, whoop, didn't work. Okay, I'll try again from this angle, and nope, he just rolls right on past me. I'm probably just petty and bad, but I don't care. This video is my opinion, and I think this star should go screw itself. We're getting really close now. My second favorite star is Hot Footed Into the Volcano from Lethal Lava Land. Lethal Lava Land has a bunch of quick, fun stars, and this one is my favorite of the bunch. I wish I remembered what it was like to find this star for the first time because it's super cool. You jump into the super dangerous looking volcano and open up a whole new part of the stage. There are two stars inside the volcano, but I like this one best. The obstacle course to the top is short and sweet, and just the right amount of challenge for my tastes. Which for my child brain means hardly any challenge, but whatever. I love this star, and it's my second favorite in the game. And now, the first of two number one picks for this video, my least favorite star in my most favorite game is... Pyramid Puzzle from Shifting Sandland. I generally think Shifting Sandland is a decently interesting, fun level to play in, but Pyramid Puzzle is just so, so terrible to me. It's one of those touch-all-five secret stars, which are usually okay if you know where the secrets are. In Pyramid Puzzle, though, I really don't know what the devs were thinking. You need to collect five coins by jumping down onto these stupid, tiny floating platforms, and it's an absolute chore. You basically have to approach them from the top, which means falling down onto them blindly and hoping for the best. You can try to scope it out a little with the Mario cam, but it really doesn't make it less difficult. And then when you inevitably screw up and miss a platform, you fall all the way down. If you planned ahead and entered the pyramid through the top, you can go kill yourself and respawn next to the first platform. This is still really annoying, and it's the best outcome. Every other scenario forces you to climb all the way back up the long obstacle course that is the pyramid. It's just a mess, it's not fun, it's annoying, it has awkward movement, it's everything that makes a bad star all rolled up into one. Maybe you disagree, but Pyramid Puzzle is my least favorite non-100 coin star in all of Super Mario 64. But we're not done yet, because my favorite star in the game is... Mysterious Mountainside from Tall Tall Mountain. Tall Tall Mountain might have the most fun overall collection of stars in the game, but Mysterious Mountainside is an absolute joy to collect. If you're a real pro, you can cheese the star and jump down from this ledge. Pretty neat discovery, but the real way to get it is so much cooler. There's a secret entrance in the side of the mountain, and it leads to a giant slide. It's the third and final slide in the game, and it's really great. It's bigger, it's longer, it's challenging, it's super cool, and it's really fun. The slide spits you out by the star, and that's that. I don't have a whole lot to say about Mysterious Mountainside, the description really speaks for itself. It's a big slide, it's in a great level, it's awesome. My opinions change all the time based on which stars I got most recently, but after freshly getting all 120 of them, I have to say that Mysterious Mountainside is my favorite star in my favorite game. Thanks for watching everyone! It was hard for me to make this list because there are so many more stars I'd love to talk about, but I'm happy with my final choices. Remember to tell me your favorite and least favorite Mario 64 stars down in the comments below, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and have a great day!